Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations on convening this ninth session of the World Urban Forum. I regret not being able to join you in person, but I'm pleased to address you virtually. And I want to use this opportunity to congratulate Ms. Maimouna Moht Sharif on being elected Executive Director of UN Habitat. The World Urban Forum has a critical role to play in making progress towards sustainable development. Implementation of the new urban agenda is essential. It helps realize development, which can significantly improve everyday lives. You have a dynamic program ahead, and I want to leave you with three messages. First, the world is increasingly urban. In fact, by 2050, two-thirds of the global population will live in urban areas. 80% of global GDP is generated in cities. They continue to be the engines of growth and development. But this urban growth must be properly managed. So far, the pace of development has not matched the rate of urban expansion. And this runs the risk of increasing inequalities, of leaving millions behind. Infrastructure, such as water and sanitation, housing, schools and hospitals, can become insufficient. The need for services can become overwhelming. Urban planning is essential. It ensures that as cities grow, people can live a decent life and maintain a sustainable planet. Second, we must use urbanization to drive inclusive development. The new urban agenda, adopted in 2016, provides a blueprint. It sets out how to tap the extraordinary potential of urbanization, and also how to manage its enormous challenges. As a complement to 2030 agenda, implementing the new urban agenda fully contributes to achieving sustainable development for all. Challenges can be turned into opportunities. Here are some simplified examples. Investing in infrastructure to meet the needs of the growing population is a significant job creation tool. Decent work provides income for families, resulting in less hunger and poverty. Or building green and recreational spaces which contributes to climate action while supporting healthy lifestyles. So urbanization should not be seen as a random byproduct of industrialization. Rather, it should be a tool for well-planned sustainable development. Third and last, we must include the voices of local authorities, experts and stakeholders in our policy discussions and plans. The World Urban Forum provides a unique platform for this. It allows you to channel your vital contributions to the global drive for urban development and, in turn, sustainable development. Bringing together key stakeholders in this inclusive setting generates ideas, fosters partnerships and promotes effective implementation of the new urban agenda. Your engagement over the coming days will contribute to building inclusive, safe, resilient and sustainable Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I look forward to learning of the outcomes of the forum, especially as we will review Goal 11 on sustainable cities during the high-level political forum in July this year. I wish you a successful 9th World Urban Forum. Thank you.